Hello friends. Now we will start with the next topic of uh, analog electronics that is differential amplifiers. This topic is important not only from examination point of view, it is important for understanding of the construction of operational amplifier because the differential amplifier is the basic building block of an operational amplifier. Fine. So, uh, uh, we will discuss the small topic first that is the types and classification of differential amplifier. You can see I have drawn the circuit diagram of our differential amplifier which is BJT based differential amplifier. The differential amplifier can be either BJT based or it can be MOSFET based. So we will discuss both, we will study both MOSFET as well as BJT based differential amplifiers. Here. This differential amplifier can be classified into four types. What are those types? First is dual input unbalanced, dual input balanced output I will say. Dual input balanced output. That is first one. Second it can be dual input uh, unbalanced output. And third can be single input balanced output. And fourth can be single input and unbalanced output. Remember, sometimes this balance output is called double ended output that is double ended output balance output is also known as double ended output and similarly unbalanced output is also known as single ended output fine so dual input double ended output dual input single ended output single input balance output or single input, double ended output, single input, unbalanced output or single input, single ended output. So these are the nomenclature or classifications of the differential amplifier. Let us move to the circuit. Here, these are the inputs, V in 1 and V in 2 are the inputs. Remember, when you talk about differential amplifier, a differential amplifier consists of two transistors. It can be either BJT or MOSFET, number one. Number two, normally it has two biasing voltages, positive voltage VCC and negative voltage minus V. Normally, a differential amplifier has two biasing voltages, positive as well as negative. You should remember that point. Two. Uh, both transistors are identical or matched transistors. These are the assumptions I will be carrying throughout this chapter and not only this chapter throughout the chapter of operational amplifier as well. So you should take it uh, you know a little seriously. Now I have two inputs, inputs apply to the base of both transistors. So this is input 1, this is input 2, fine. These are the two inputs. Number one. Number two, I take output uh, from the collector circuits, the collector terminals of both the transistors. When you take both inputs, so that is called dual input. When you take both outputs, that is called balance output. Fine. When you take one input, other is not taken, that is called single input. Either this input or this input, that is called single input. When you take either output from this terminal, not from this, that is called single ended output. Similarly, when I take input from this, not from this, that is again single ended output. But when you take difference of two, output as the difference of two, this minus this, that is V naught, that is called differential output or that is called balanced output. Differential output or balanced output. You should remember these nomenclatures and you should remember where we apply the inputs and where we take the output. In case of MOSFET, 
it can be MOSFET as well. In that case, collector is same as drain terminal of similar to identical to drain terminal. So we take output from the drain terminals and we apply input to the gate terminals. I repeat, this can be a MOSFET as well. In that case, it will be like that, like this, like this. This can be a MOSFET as well, like this. That is MOSFET based differential amplifier. That's it. We replace BJT by MOSFET. That is MOSFET based differential amplifier. Circuit is similar. Fine. You can see here the either source or emitter terminals are connected with each other and then biasing voltage is applied through this resistance. So if it is MOSFET, that is RD, this is RD, this is RS. This is connected to the source terminal. So emitter terminal or source terminal, so the transistors are connected together and then we apply the biasing voltage. Fine. So I will switch or, or switch back to BZT. So I have like this, so, uh, this is emitter terminal. I have like this, I have like this and this is remove. This is BJT based differential amplifier. Fine. So if it is BJT, so instead of drain, it will be RC. We take output from the collector terminal of BJT. So I will repeat. In differential amplifiers, we assume that both transistors are matched. Both transistors are identical with each other. That is the assumption we will be carrying throughout this chapter. Fine. So you can see I have three resistances, two resistances connected at collector and one at emitter terminal. Both emitter terminals are shorted, short circuited and then we apply the biasing voltage. Fine. The biasing current through resistance I is assumed to be constant. So sometimes I have a current source here instead of writing resistance sometimes you will find a, a current source here like this constant current biasing. We will see why this constant current biasing is used at later stage but either some uh, you have a resistance here that is R or you have a constant current source here. But even if you have resistance connected here, we will be assuming that current through this resistance is constant. That means we assume there is always constant biasing current through the BJTs, right? So these are a set of assumptions we will be carrying out. The BJTs are having constant biasing current. Both transistors are matched, are identical to each other, fine. And of course, depending upon the type of application, I may apply two inputs, I may apply single input or I may take output from either of the collector terminal or I may take output as the difference of the collector voltages, that is balance output, fine. So this is all about the types and classification of differential amplifiers. This is a little small topic but important one. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll just terminate my lecture here because otherwise it will become lengthy. I will be splitting the analysis of this chapter, uh, analysis of the amplifiers in stages. What are the topics we are going to discuss in this chapter? First I will be taking BJT based differential amplifier. Then I will take MOSFET based differential amplifier. And last topic will be the common mode rejection ratio. We will see that. What is that? In BJT amplifier, BJT based differential amplifier, I will be taking DC analysis, then AC analysis. Right? DC analysis and AC analysis for BJT based amplifier. Similarly, for MOSFET based amplifier, we will be taking DC analysis and AC analysis. Then, in DC analysis and AC analysis of both transistors, I will be taking common mode and differential mode input. So, first we will take analysis, DC and AC analysis for common mode inputs and then we will discuss DC and AC analysis for differential mode input and that will finish your topic, finish your chapter in fact. So, uh, in next uh, video, I will be discussing, I will be talking about the DC analysis of BJT 
based differential amplifier. I repeat, this topic is important for all the exams. You have questions from this topic. Most of the times these are theoretical questions, but you cannot ignore because it is the basic building block of operational amplifiers. So wait for my next video I'll, where I'll be talking about the analysis of BJT based differential amplifier that will be DC analysis first followed by AC analysis. So wait for my next video. Thank you very much for watching the video.